Why are you studying Japanese, sir? Why are you, why are you interested? <laughs> what, what part of Japanese literature, Japanese culture are you so interested in? Okay? And now it's become what? MashaAllah. So at the beginning it was anime. So even when I was, when I was in university, he said the same thing to me. He said, he said to me, he said, listen, he said, I'm so tired of watching anime with subtitles. <laughs> He's like, I want the full experience. So, right, but, but that's coming from a place of love. It's coming from a place of, of you know, and I'm sure right now with the, the popularity of Korean soap operas or dramas, like people are now going to start learning Korean. But when you have, when you have, people who are willing, able, intelligent, capable of learning all of these different things, and then they show a complete disinterest in learning the deen themselves. You know, I, I went to a Islamic school function once, and I remember they had brought some guy from the Ivy League. He was like a really smart guy. He's giving this powerful presentation, talking about blah, 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 incredibly eloquent. And then he started quoting verses of the Quran. And I was like, man, I wish you did it because these third graders can read these verses better than you. Like it was, it was bad. And I'm not talking about like he was in college. This was like post-college by like 15 years or what have you. And it was just, it was just bad. And it wasn't like, it wasn't like it was a challenge for him. It was just obvious that he hadn't put in, put in the time. And so you want to be someone who has uh, literacy of the deed. And so taking this time Whatever it is, if you've got an hour, two hours a week even, for you to spend time learning the deen, learning the fiqh of tahara, learning the fiqh of salah, uh, prioritize it. We prioritize so much else. We need to make sure also well that we prioritize learning this deen.